Alright, subscribe to Spags1245, right Grayson? Subscribe to Spags1245, that's you know what I'm saying. how it is. He is. <laughs> what is up Spaggots? Um, I have a new video for you guys today. Um, basically about how my past weekend was. Um, so I was at Randolph Macon College, which was in Virginia, uh, Ashland, Virginia to be specific. And it was 85 degrees. Weather Channel said it was going to be 78, but... <coughs> excuse me. It was very humid, but there was a nice breeze going, so it felt pretty okay. Um, I did really good. Knock on wood. Let me just knock on some wood here. I've only struck out twice this whole season. Um, this past weekend, the umpire did not call a single strike call on me. I swung at the first strike thrown at me. Um, <coughs> technically got walked. But the way the showcase works, it goes back to a one-on-one -on -one count. But I had almost two infield hits. Um, and I had a nice hit up to right field, so I went three for three. Um, and I pitched a no-hitter. Your boy Spags pitched a no-hitter. Um, gave up a really, really good um, stroke, but luckily it was right at the left fielder. Uh, gave him a hanging curveball, but that was... Luckily it was a low hanging curveball, so, um, yeah, your boy threw a no-hitter, first career no-hitter, um, I've had three complete games, but this is my first career no-hitter, but also, I'd like to show some photos of you guys that want to possibly play college baseball or get a feel of what a college D3 campus looks like, this is a really nice D3 campus, there's not a lot of D3, LVC is a lot worse than this, but obviously, this college is a lot richer, <clears throat> so, this right here is the entrance to the like park. Um, it's right here. It's called, if you're saying it in Spanish, Estes Park. But obviously we're American, so it's Estes Park or I don't know. Um, and then here you got the dugout. Um, it says home of the Yellow Jackets, um, which I think their mascot's pretty dope. Um, their campus is really nice, but when we were there, it was so busy. They had. So there were these railroad tracks separating the two sides of the campus. There was um, boys soccer slash girls soccer on the left side and our baseball game. And plus the college itself had a baseball game after us. So that was probably, that was really cool. They got to watch us. <clears throat> um, and then there was a field hockey clinic and open house. And it was a really nice. When you went inside to your left, the student union, they had like a rock climbing wall, air hockey table. To the right was the basketball courts and the weight room. It was really nice. Um... But, yeah. Uh, sorry, I had to cut that last bit short, but I am resuming it now. Um, the last two pictures I have are, so let me explain the one. Everyone's like, why are you in black and they're in red? So, the red team was in the field, and I'm on the black team. And we needed a team from the red team to complete our team for the showcase. They had 11, we had 9. No, we had 8, they had 11. So we needed nine. So we took one of their guys. So he was in the red uniform. So this is me. I'm about to go up to bat. Um, <clears throat> and that guy, my man Oni on my left. Um, and then my last picture that I have right here is of me um, doing my warm-up pitching. My man Dylan Williamson. Hit him up. He's the GOAT. Uh, really cool kid. But um, I, um, pitching I did pretty well. Um like I said, through no hitter. Um, so, let's hope I can build off of that. Hopefully, the colleges watch this. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and spag it out.